So, who, the injured guys, who's questionable? Who, are there any guys that are out? Everybody was full today, and the, uh, the questionable guys are Sweat and, and Dillard. Is Sweat still in, in the concussion protocol? Uh, yes. Yes, that doesn't what that doesn't go until until tomorrow. So he's that's why he's questionable right now. Dillard. Uh, just something at practice um, today. Yeah, yeah. So he, he's questionable right now. He was full at practice, but but questionable from what happened at practice today. Right. From a schedule. Is that you guys okay? You guys get, get what you need there. We can talk. Yeah. Question? Uh, no, it, yeah. This I'll just leave it at that. This no. that he's questionable. He was he was full of practice, but questionable because of something at practice. So not game related, but from a, a scheduling perspective, you have the guys here on Mondays with their day off Tuesdays. It's kind of been the other way around for the past few years. Why did you choose that schedule? Well, for the longest time, I I was always on teams that Mondays they were in. Tuesdays they were off and then when I went to Indy Frank had obviously been here with Doug and you know Frank had gotten used to to that and he liked that and uh, you know they won a Super Bowl doing it that way and so you know and so you know that's what we did and it's funny and I just always felt like again you think about things as the head as when you're an assistant and you think and you want to be a head coach and you're like well I kind of like that day off Monday or their day off Tuesday um, it was always it always felt like you know, you go to work on Monday, you you review the game with the coaches, you move on from the game. And the play, and you want the players to do the same thing. You move on from the game, good, bad, and different. You move on from the game, you start prepping the next game, and then you got to go back and rehash it and and, and, and and talk through everything like that. And so I just – that's that was my why for, for switching it. That was my big why. It's funny. I, I, I called Frank. I'm like, hey, what, what – and I kind of just talked to him. I wanted to – take all the information. He's like, yeah, we're going back the other way too. So, um, you know, he, he's, I think they're Monday off now too. And not that I know that a hundred percent, but I, I when, as we were talking, we, I thought, I think he is Monday on Tuesday off. Sorry. And so it was more about that, that I wanted to, I wanted to be able to put the game to rest good or bad on Monday and everybody move on from that game, uh, learn what you need to from that game, but move on and get prepared for the next game. In, t in terms of soft t tissue injuries, you guys have been relatively healthy, especially compared to what had happened. <laughs> I'm not superstitious at all, but I really am not. But there you go. I did. Mm -hmm. And we talked a lot about it during some of about the during the when you guys were holding them back. Do you feel like this is a direct result of that? And do you feel like I mean, having know what they have gone through previously, do you feel like this is just kind of the culmination of the process that they've been um, Yeah, I mean, I be you, you look at everything you do schedule wise, right? starting in the off season, then moving to training camp and then just how we practice. Um, and yeah, I do. Um, I, d I do believe it's a, it's a result of how we're, you know, how we're doing things and how we're, we're practicing, well, how we're practicing. I think the, 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 um, the system that we are in right now, as far as how, you know, how everything's organized is, has been good throughout the other teams in the NFL that have done it this way have, have done well. So again, it's just like when you, when you're, building an offense or you're looking at players or whatever you just want to you want to take what you think's best for the the players and, and do it and so yeah I mean right now yeah I guess that's that's my I, I believe that's what's helping us and guys are doing a great job taking care of their bodies we got great got great people in the building helping these guys take care of their bodies um, and so um, I just feel like and that's that's a that's an organizational thing it's just all the all the all the help that we have as an organization like uh, you know, and that Mr. Laurie gives all the, all the, you know, all the back, all the um, resources that we need, and so yeah, I just I just think that's definitely a product of it. The altitude, uh, people talk about. Davion was talking about a play to Colorado. You, you had time with the Chargers. You had to go there every year. Is it? I know they kind of play it up. They have that sign outside the locker room. Right outside wanna, the locker yeah, room. They yeah. say the attitude sickness is real. Whatever. What do you, can you do anything? Do you talk to the guys? What do you What do you say when it comes to that? Just like you know, kind of with 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 uh, Jeff's question right there, and just like everything we do, we're like we're always trying to look for an edge. We're always trying to look for an advantage. I mean, the parity in this league is so so tight um, that you always got to look for an advantage, right? That's why we sleep in our office sometimes. That's why we watch five years worth of tape of a certain situation. 
et cetera, et cetera. And so no doubt that this is the same thing. We've talked to our guys about things. Um, we have, we, you know, we, ha we have a very detailed plan of, of things that we've, we've done at the very beginning of the week, so starting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way to where we are Friday, about what time we get there tomorrow and, and everything. So every detail has been, every resource uh, that we've had available for us and all the research has been done. Um, and we've used and we use that information. That's not my expertise. I got to look at, at the people that have an expertise in it. And so we've done that and hopefully it pays uh, dividends for us this Sunday. Without being able to simulate that atmosphere, what, what have you done and, and from training staff as well, anything for that altitude change? That there, there's been a lot. I mean, one thing that, again, I don't want to get into a lot of the specifics. Um, but one thing, I think I, there were a couple of our other division opponents, and just in case a couple of our division opponents have to go there. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into that, but like one, just for one thing, I, I can give you one thing. We're getting there a little bit later tomorrow. Um, uh, just, just getting in a little bit later. That's, that's one thing um, for different reasons. Um, but again, there's, it's, it's funny, just like the detail that was put in the presentation to me as the head coach from it, it was like, I'm looking at this detail you know the detail of all the different things that we're doing to get ready for this game and right it's like man this looks like the de the same type of detail that a game plan looks like and the and the same thought process that went through it all and it's just it just goes to show you about football there's just so many different parts of this organization that work together right from players to coaches to to media staff to the strength and conditioning staff to to everybody like that make it go and so that's what I, I was fired up about how much detail that was it was into it. Um, but that's just one thing I'll share with you, I guess. How does getting in later um, Yeah, see, I shouldn't have given you every, anything. <laughs> uh, we can talk. We can talk off the record about that. Nick, uh, can you just provide a couple more details on those Friday meetings with with Jalen, like when they started, where they're held, uh, how long they go, and, and kind of the the why. For so. Um, Pretty typical of the play caller and the quarterback to meet on Friday um, after everybody leaves, right? And 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 go through the openers and go through what the, the your 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 third down and two to three first call is, second call, third call. What your third down and four to six calls are, seven to ten, eleven plus, high red zone, low red zone, tight red zone, uh, four minute backed up, and just go through all like all the all the information has been gathered right and, and given to the players and talked through now it's just like hey here's how we kind of see this playing out boom here's when we might call this play here's right when we might call this play and you're just going through the game you're playing the game with the quarterback you're stimulating it in your mind of how, how things are going to play out and so that's a pretty typical meeting and that's the meeting that involves myself shane um kevin patullo brian johnson and obviously jalen and then, you know, right after that, um, Jalen and I just go sit in my office and we just talk. Um, and so, I don't know, it started probably a month ago. I'd say a month ago. Again, I just think it's so important to connect um, with, with our guys. I know that that's not the first time you've heard me say that. I just want to make sure I connect with everybody. Um, and you definitely, the quarterback, uh, you always want to connect a little bit more with that per with that person. He's your he's your coach on the field, and and so it's just been fun just to sit there and talk to him about anything. Based, you know, but obviously I'll keep those conversations private. But we we man, Jalen and I have a lot in com a lot more in common than we probably even thought. Uh, right, we're both coaches' kids, and um, we both love football. There's a, we have a lot of same types of music. Uh, you know, pop culture, stuff like that. We got a lot more in common, than, but you don't learn that unless you get to, to know somebody. And so it's been fun. It's been fun just sitting in there. I look forward to that. Hopefully he does too. Um, but I look forward to having that conversation with him every Friday.